Would you say that you love this country? Enough to give this mission my full attention, if that's what you mean. You're clearly the right woman for the job, Major Kusanagi. The interview is merely a formality. The war accelerated both cyberbrain and prosthetic development. Of course, the cybercrimes born of such technology are serious, but they're only a symptom of another problem. And your unit can provide the perfect solution. There's still one more job we gotta take care of. Most of the military is going to become privatized. If you're going to war, you should at least have the sense to side with the winners. Between cyberbrains and prosthetics, we're seeing the largest profit-seeking system in the history of the world. Everyone is replaceable and expendable. Now let's see which one of us is disposable, too. That's not something I can know. They want to fight? That's fine with me! The world entered a rapid era of change. This country is no exception, of course. Major, what's your status? Prime Minister, no! The hostage is Cyberbrains. Whoa, wait. Put those They've down! They've been contaminated. I thought they were supposed to be ghost locked. Why can they move? The false memory virus. We should have been able to stop this. Pity you, one who was once so free, trapped in this miserable waking world. We're always searching for a future. If only we could be the same. You have to accept your limits, remember? Seeds that you planted are bearing fruit, Major. I won't let them be cut down. One day you'll see the diversity of information packages is endless. And they can give birth to a new world. A world of data without people or things. Do you believe in a place like that? Are you willing to sell your ghost for the sake of some uniform standard? Sacrificing those less fortunate than you are? You've all been given cyber brains and ghosts to guide your actions. If you want something from others, you have to find something to offer in return. Build your future. Follow your ghost. We're fighting for the future this time, not for another bloody battlefield, right? for a place we can call home.